Union 613. Was it twice? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I assume these guys are car carriers. <laughs> we'll find the Gamachia for it. Yeah. Yeah. Trademarks. <laughs> Trademarks and copyright companies. Sorry. We have people call there. 613 is 10. 10. There's a difference. Mm. Oh. Still have a Swiss. What? The rhythm is very good. This is... What do you have? Yeah. Or what do you have from Swiss? Yeah, I'm, st I'm still holding. I'm still holding my Swiss. Huh? Yeah. We can't forget Swiss. Atten 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 we forgot Swiss. I'm just going to give you a sphere, so I'm going to
Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> it's amazing to be here. See a, a wonderful bus of Seaboro here in, in, in Muncie, New York, thriving, growing. Lichtig upon him, old friends I haven't seen in a long time. So, turn and vav, the Rebbe's. You could say about every single Torah, this is, this is the biggest chizik in the world. <laughs> and, uh, but I'll tell you, coming to America, this is, this is mamish, this is mamish where it's at. I, 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 I'll tell you a story. I, I, uh, I'm not so good with technology, okay? It's, I've never, never been uh, very mukshar for this. Uh, and so I had a phone. You know, I know, okay, I'm coming to America, I need a phone, I need ways, I need the WhatsApp, or these things, right? And uh, there was, you know, it's an Israeli phone, with the, it's all uh, protected and all these things, you know, this, uh, I get to America and it uh, doesn't work. It's too kosher. <laughs> get to America, it doesn't work. I can't, no, SIM cards, this, that. What do I do? I'm very tired, of flight. I asked the, you know, the, the rental car, I said, where, where, where I got a phone, where, the Jersey Mall, right down the, you know, just a little ways from New York Airport. Okay, but I have to go to Jersey Mall, you know. Oy vey. <laughs> you know, the <clears throat> starship is a star, right? That's like, you find yourself in these places, you're like, what do you want from me over here? What do you want? But the Maisa, and, 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 and the Maisa, I also, it's hard for me to buy a phone. I'm trying not to, you know, have so much technology, but I needed it. So going to the at and this guy, you know, I don't want to tell you what the guy looked like, you know, you guys can imagine with the hairdo and the tattoos and whatever craziness, I don't know, there's a he, a she, a it, a what, a what, um, looking at me like, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You lost. You had lost. You lost uh, sheep. You, you got. You got a little bit uh, went off the track. A little stray. A stray over here. Uh, uh, gets him. <coughs> um, ended up walking out and uh, driving to Lakewood without any ways and just very figured out on my own. Um, <laughs> that deserves was, an award. <laughs> right. 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 I think I got charged uh, some extra tolls. Whatever. I don't think so. But, you know, the point is, you come, you come, you know, for, for coming from Yishalayim, coming to, you know, Chutzaras, you know, you see, you see Malchus Akum. You see the Malchus of Goyim. It's very strong. I, you know, somebody's telling me now, there's a big debate tonight, the president's debate, you know, who's going to win? It's like, there's so much riding on it, you know, it's like, it seems like, gosh, if the, this old, uh, you know, 90 year old uh, half dead guy is going to win. Like, what's going to happen? What's for the Eden? What's going to happen for our Like, And on the head, you have this totally wacko, uh, <laughs> wacko guy, you know, who, uh, who, who's, who's on our side, but I say he's totally not. <laughs> so, so, so what's, what's with us? You know, what's with us? This is, this is the Malchus Akum is very strong, right? Rebbe calls it Malchus or Shah. And Sif, uh, Sif A. I'm sure you guys have been learning this Torah for a few months already, so we're going we're gonna to jump around a little bit. Um, but uh, where does it have the Tzura Sadaf, you know? In the beginning, uh, in the beginning, the Tzura Sadaf? Ah, found it. You get used to Tzor Zadav, yeah, you know? Yeah. So the Rebbe said, it's, it's, it's Turk, what do you mean? I have Malchus? I have Malchus? I have no power. I'm totally powerless. It's up to, it's up to, maybe I can vote for a president, but that's about it. No? I have no power. They're going running the show over here. Even in Eretz Yisrael, you just see the Rishon, the Mamash, 
Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable what they're doing over there. And you feel like I have no power. The Rebbe says, Yes, we call Echad Yisrael Bechinus Malchus. That alone is enough. We can like think about that for a long time. I have Malchus. So, what does it mean that I have Malchus? It means what the Rebbe says in Sifei. The Rebbe says that the, that, that the Malchus is Bechinus Machinidan. Machinidan is Maaset. They call them Machinus. They're gathering together all the lost items from all of the camps that are they're coming behind, just uh, two parshas ago. Parshas Nasa. Machedan comes in the back, and she says, and they're gathering all together. So the story is, they're gathering all in the the Kedusha, the Rebbe says over there, it's F.A. They're gathering all these in the Kedusha, making sure that they don't get lost, making sure they get to the place of Tikkun, the place that they need to go. And so as we know, this means that every, every single piece of food that we eat, every single drink, and not only that, but every single business deal that we make, every single person that we meet, there's certainly choices that we're fixing through those interactions. So Rebbe says, Ki yesh b'kol echad mi Yisrael v'chines malchus. But then it's from Sifei, right? They have a big sign over here, Minei Yobei. This is one of the kolim that Rebbe gives us. Rebbe of Nachman gives us. Minei Yobei. What does Rebbe mean by malchus? That's what it means. It's Rebbe Sifei. It means that every person has... He has a certain certain memshola and, and, and power over <coughs> Nitzitzis in this world that he can fix them up. They're shaykh in his neshama. And each person, according to Spechina, some have a lot of Nitzitzis, some have a little. But the bottom line is we all have Nitzitzis to fix up. And we have the power to do it. Question is, where are those Nitzitzis? Why can't I see them? Why do I see the opposite? I see the, 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 the clippers, right? I see the clipper, the clippers of the goyim, they cover everything up. And I see all this darkness. I see all the, the, the malchus of show. That's my asif mamun. Haman, haman and Molech, gathering all the money together. And sometimes I get caught up in that also. <laughs> so, so the Rebbe says that you have to understand there's two types of malchus. There's malchus bez galia and malchus bez kasia. It's malchus that's, that's revealed, everybody can see. This person has a CEO, he has a hundred employees, you know, he pays them, They're, they have to, you know, look up to him and, uh, and, and give him cover, and he runs the show. Uh, and this guy is a bunch of the year, he's an employee, he's working at the bottom of the company. You know, what does he have? What does he have? So that is empowering us over here, he's giving us power. You understand the English pretty good, yeah? Okay, good. He's empowering us over here that we can change the world. We are changing the world. Because there's Malchus B'Yizkasya. There's Malchus B'Yizkasya that every single thing that a Yid does, especially in the Hastar Shebesach Hastar of Chutzlaretz. When you're in Yishalayim with all the Yeshivas and the Kailim and, 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 and the Hamish of, you know, Eilach Yidin. So there's, there's, a, there's a bigger aspect of Malchus B'Yizkasya over there. The true Malchus is, is, is revealed. Of the true Malchus of, of Hashem, of the, of the Yidin, is revealed over there. Over here, there's a lot of iskasia. But the Rebbe says in Sivdalit that the Malchus B'Yizkasya, the highest Torah, the Sisrei Torah is hidden in the Malchus B'Yizkasya. I mean, the biggest Tikkunim that happened over here in Chuzdaz. The biggest Tikkunim happened over here. The biggest secrets are, are going down by the Haile By Haile I mean a Yid who has a, a yarmulke, and he wears tzitzis, and he does his best to keep Shabbos for all the biggest tikkun in what happening over here, the sis Torah. The biggest nitzaytis are getting the biggest tikkun in Chutzlaretz. So, dafka because it's the biggest sister. Dafka because it's, it's so much his kasi, it's so, so, so hard. And, and, and the machos of the goyim is so strong. And it's mamish going downhill. I, I don't know, I don't follow the news so much, but my wife tells me, you know, a little bit of happening over here with the goyim. And it's, I mean, I've, I've been in Eretz for 14, 15 years of Perach. It's a different world. Anybody who was, you know, who was an adult 15 years ago, I think if you look back, you know, you can, I mean, it's harder to see it when you're in the middle of it. But for me, being separate, you know, it's crazy what's happening in America right now. It's mamish going down, right? And, but, uh, and, and so it's meaning going down, meaning that the, 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 the Kedusha is going down and the Sitra Akhra is getting the upper hand. And it's becoming harder and harder to be an Arab Chayid. So, just at this time, we come and we learn this story from Nachman that says, no, Adar now's the time, now's the time to realize 
the power of your malchus. You said a bracha, you just made an atom bomb in the entire universe. You blew up. Uh, you know, this, this is an amazing thing. After, after all the, the Eden, you trying to do tshuva, and, and after October 7th, everything, you know, all of a sudden, the Iranian the dictator it just all of a sudden drops dead. What? <laughs> just dropped dead, you know? There was no, there was no bombs. There was no, he didn't get shot down. Nothing happened. Just like all of a sudden, boom, one day he's gone. Is there any, any explanation for that? It's right here, boy's side, it's right here. There's Eden, they're doing tshuva. They're getting connected to, the, to, to their malchus, the power that we have when we daven. What do you mean, my daven? My daven is so shvach. I can't go around. I'm thinking about all, the, all my malchus business, you know, the malchus of I'm thinking about my business deals. I'm thinking about uh, problems at home. I'm thinking about all my, all my mistakes. There's Malchus Biscassia. Malchus Biscassia is that we are running the show. Every single year is running the show with his Abad Hashem. <coughs> so Rebbe's giving us incredible power over here. And, uh, but it's hard. So, so it's very hard for us because the Hastar is so great. So Rebbe says, there's, there's, there's a Yid. And in, in, in public, he has no power at all. But nevertheless, in, in, in a hidden way, He's ruling over the entire generation. So obviously, this is talking about the tzaddik, and by us, it's talking about the rebbe, and he's ruling. He's really, he, his power is is running the show. The tzaddikim run the show. That's it. Tzaddik goes to Hashem Bekayim. We have to believe it, and this is the key for us as well. When we feel, what can I do? I'm my yitzhar is so strong. The sitra is so strong. The malchus akum is. All I can think about, it's so hard. Just I think about money like this. It's hard to get out of it. No, there's a Rebbe, there's a Rebbe that, that he has such strong power with Eskassia, <coughs> even though there's nothing with Eskassia, Kimat, nothing. So, but he's still, he is mechazik me and megala to me, my hidden power. And I'm a cash myself to him. And I believe in him. This is what the Rebbe calls a Rasha Vatoibu. At the end of the Torah, he calls him Rasha Vatoibu. He's a Makurav to a Tzadikan. It's an amazing thing. You think a Rasha Vatoibu is it's not necessarily uh, something you want to be, right? Halavai, we should all be Tzadikim, right? But the Rebbe says Rasha Vatoibu is, yeah, he's struggling. He has ups and downs. He has big hastaras in his life. But Toivli is Bukurv to Tzadik Emes, who's Megalat to him that he has them Shali, he has power, he, his Voida Sashem is changing the world. You want, you, want, you, want, you want to have a good president? Try to, try to believe in the power of Yerush Monastery, even with all its mistakes. Try to dive and say one bracha, a little more That's going to win the vote. That's going to change the world. It is changing the world. So, why? Because that's fixing all the Nitzitzis, right? That's fixing all Nitzitzis. And then it's like a, it's a pool, it's a, it's a river pool, you know, you drop that and it's in the pool, and then all of a sudden there's a ripple effect that, that goes, spreads out throughout the whole world. So Rebbe says, the base, he says, we have to use the Malchus, we can't use it for ourselves. We can't use it for ourselves. And this is like the, the, main, the main place where, where we, get, we get stuck. That... Uh, we have uh, a piece of food. And we want the Nitzitzis for ourselves. Really, the Nitzitzis belong to Hashem. Right? They're the Chelik al Kabimal. Just like our Nisham is the Chelik al Kabimal, so the Nitzitzis are also Chelik al Kabimal, and we need to be mashed, and we need to connect them together. And then there's an Aliyah that goes up. Our Nisham and the Nitzitzis go up. And this is Megale Malchus Hashem. On the other hand, if we take that Malchus, we take those Nitzitzis for our own benefit, for our own Hano. So then they get stuck. And so that was being real with us over here. That uh, he's, he's, he's showing us where, where we went off. We went off a little bit over here. So, but right away he says, We need to, we need to free up the mouth, free up these nitsoitzes. And so he right away says, It's true, Mordechai Tzadik. He's casual to the Tzadik, that, he, that the Tzadik is the one who's doing this for Shlemus. And he teaches us also. How to how to be mamayas bero? Yeah, it's really that good. Yeah, it's not that good. It's not as good as, as you know when you, when you think about that moment of the vacas and one of shana. The Rebbe says one moment of the vacas is worth like all the problems in the world, all the stuff we go through. It's worth it for that one moment of the vacas when we when we when we experience and we know the truth. So, 
So the Rebbe says we have to be chazak ourselves that Amachus is for Hashem, it's not for ourselves. And truth is, all of our suffering really comes from the fact we're trying to take it from ourselves. Like, like the Nsifei talks about the Haman Amalek, right? Haman Amalek, I, I guarantee you, Haman was, was the most miserable per- person in the whole world. <laughs> he had everything, he had all the power, and in, 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 in one year would not bow to the downtown. He's like, ah, my life is terrible. <laughs> you know, what's the person say? In Shavali? Right? It's like you're the sugar. You're the president of the, you're not the president of the world. You're the you're the emperor of the whole world. It calls the inner shavu because it's one year. That's each one of us. That's each one of us. We're not lo yishtachve, lo yichrava, lo yishtachve. Don't bow down. It means don't give up. You you you, you fall in, like the Rebbe says, you fall into the hastara. You fall into using the malchus for yourself. Now fall into the type of Zulam It's a mitzvah. It's hard. Especially in the and the Sayon is so, so great. It's unbelievable. It's, you can't. <laughs> like, but the Rebbe says, so you fall down there. Lo yichra, lo yishtachavi. Meaning, I'm not going to get lost. I'm not going to give up over there. And I'm going to search for the Das. I'm going to search for the Torah that's hidden in that place. Because by Adsim, there's huge Torah. There's huge Torah everywhere. Yeah? There's huge Torah in every single thing we're talking about. There's this right there. The biggest Torah is, is here in the, in, the, in the most hidden places. Why can't I find it? Why can't I find it? The Rebbe says, we don't have the Kalim. We don't have the Kalim. The Nitzaitzas are the Or, right? The Nitzaitzas are light. It's big Or. We don't have the Kalim for it. Meaning, the person sees a huge light, he goes blind, right? It's too much. His eyes can't handle it. It's too intense. So, the Rebbe says in Siv Dalet, I'm sorry, the Rebbe says in Siv Gimel, that we have to be kidding. We fall into this place, yeah, we, you see, Siv Bey, we fall into the place of La Hanosa, the Tzarecha, the Tavosa. Okay, so the Rebbe says, I can help you down there, don't worry. It's the way out. The way out is that, is that you, you, you build the Kedim. What does it mean, build Kedim? The Rebbe says it means to, to learn Torah. Learning Torah, so really over here, I was giving us a Kavona for learning Torah. Why do we learn Torah? Talking with uh, with a uh, some um, uh, Rosh Hashiva in Lakewood the other day, yesterday actually, I couldn't tell him this whole thing. But uh, why learn Torah? So we learn Torah to be matzliach, right? To be matzliach and learning, to stay, to, to to get uh, a deep understanding of Gemara, Rashi, Toisus, you know, Shainim, Chreinim, Kabbal, right? That's why we learn Torah, right? Right. <laughs> it's not really why we learn Torah. But say, we learn Torah to get close to the Rabbanu Shalom, just like everything else we do. That's okay, Bono. I don't care about my Hatzalach, I don't care, I was Hatzalach, was Hatzalach. Did my Torah bring me close to Hashem? Did it bring me to a new revelation of Hashem in my life? Did it bring me to Daven Mincha with more Kavana? Did it bring me to eat lunch with a little bit more awareness that like there's something very holy happening here? I said a bracha. I just transformed the whole world. Malchus B'Zkasi is now in this galley. It's revealed through my Muna. So, so that's, that's the power of the return. Obviously, it goes along. The, the, the simple understanding over here is the, the power of the, the, the Torah of Tzadikim is especially effective over here. Because the Tzadikim, they, they're, they're, they're Megala, the, the soil of everything. This for, what's, a, what's, a, what's a Kinar? What's a, what's a fiddle? Yeah, fiddle is, is Ne'er Chofei. Right? It's, it's, it's a light of Hashem. What's Kigal? I don't know, you guys tell me. <laughs> but the, but the, tzirikim, the Tzirikim revealed to us that every single thing has premiums. Every single thing has premiums. Every single thing, there's incredible soda. So a person falls, falls into the Gashmi's liquor world and he's lost over there. He learns the Torah of Tzirikim. It reveals that there's, there's Hashem, is, Hashem is in that place. There's Das over there. You think that it's totally lost? You think, you're, you know, nowadays, Das is like a, a novelty. <laughs> hmm. It's a novelty to come to, like, Yeshua Das, like, you know, Halavai, like, once a year, I, like, you know, come to a little bit of clarity of mind. <laughs> on the way to him. On the way to him, maybe. You know, man, on the way to him, maybe. Because that's the only time you, like, mm-hmm. just sit and do nothing. <laughs> Okay, unless you're, unless you're bugging out because you're waiting, you know, at the border for like 16 hours. <laughs> my brother, my brother, you know, we, everybody knows, you know, it tastes a little bit of Yeshua Das, Shabbos Kodesh, you know, your phone is off. 
it's quiet, you know, <coughs> you sit down, you learn something, you dab with a little more kavana, nishmas kuchai. You know, this das is refuas and nefesh. It's mamash, it's, 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 this is what we need. It saves us from everything. And, and the das the Rebbe Frat, das the Rebbe is, is, is revealing how Hashem is with us in every single place. Every single aspect of life. Reb Nassim has many halachas about Masim Button doing business. The Rebbe has terrorist toward the Dalit, toward Dalit. And Sakhi like Khelek talks about business. Wherever tikkunim that happen and do business, like we're saying, like the Nitzaytas, they're getting fixed, everything's happening, you know. There's a way to connect to Hashem in every single place through the Torah, but we have to have this kavana that we're searching. You learn in Torah just to get the pshat, you learn in Torah just to be matznech, and you can do it also like the Quran, unfortunately. The Yitzhar can come in, you I just want to learn the like Quran in order to, you know, to understand what the Rebbe says. It's, 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 it's a certain level of Lishma, but the, the Lishma they're working for is Lilmod, Almanas, the Lamed. You have to talk to other Yidin, right? Every person has, as it can be Mashpi and other <coughs> You think, I have no power, I don't know anything. No, you have something you can teach somebody else. You have one idea in your mind that gives you chiyas. Something from the Rebbe, there's a sicha. It's something from the Eitz, there's something from the around. There's one thing that's mechaya for you. Give that over to another year. You learn something else, give that over to another year. We have the power to mashpia. So we're little more, I'm an astalami. These were the last of the Kayim. So we're searching in the Rebbe's Torah, we're searching in every Torah we learn. We're frat, the frat, the Rebbe's Torah. How can I bring this into my life, the Kim? How can I megala this as I'm learning a Torah, you know, about a certain, a certain avoid, a certain mitzvah. You learn the Ketelachas about the mitzvah's tefillah, the mitzvah's, the mitzvah's titzis. So you, you understand, this is, the Rebbe's telling me over here, it's telling me that there is a way for me to connect to this mitzvah on a deeper level. It doesn't have to be just uh, a story. I'm just putting on film like because I, I have to and it's every day, it's a lot or whatever. No, I can connect the Pinimius and get out of the out of the hiddenness. So that's the power of the Torah of the Tzadikim when we when we learn it with this kavana. The Rebbe's giving us a, a, a kavana for limited Torah. To search, you have to search. The Rebbe's Tzavor and Torah Ches Tanyana is to search the Ruach HaKoyesh of the Tzadik. Dawson says, when you learn, the, when you learn a Sefer, you can't learn it Stam. To learn it with a rotsum, with a searching. I want to get deeper. I want to understand how this is talking to me. It's not always so easy. Sometimes we have to dive for it. So I always add, in the rest of Nusach is Lilmoid, Almanas, the Spalel, the Lama, the Lama, the Lama, right? Bring everything into Tefillah. Do his brother on it, right? So, we talked about Sivdal. Sivdal is, you know, this is this is the this is the Torah of of Chutz Laris, the Torah of America, you know, being and being and lost amongst all this craziness. You know, it's such a chiddush. It's such a chiddush to you know, you're driving, you're going through these like little Christian towns and like you know, and all these things, the Best Buy, and all of a sudden you get to like Heimishville, and it's it's such a mechay. <laughs> especially when especially when when, when you don't have ways, you just don't know where you're going. And you're like, I hope I'm in the right direction. I know Golden State Parkway goes to Lakewood somehow, you know, but uh, I don't know which exit or whatever. And you know, <laughs> I'm stopping like a goy, uh, you know, at the, at the red light. And he's like, I don't want to open my window for you to tell you where to go. Like, you know, you're you're a foreign. You're, you're, I don't trust you. You know, funny-looking guy. They probably think I'm Amish. Somebody said, maybe the guy close enough to Lakewood they know about. That. We get there, you know, and then finally you get. So, you know, a Yiddish Yishu of the Rebbe is all about being Koivish Kutzarts. Koivish, Koivish the Makam. Koivish the Makam means you have a Malchus the Kedusha. Don't be Nechbash. Don't think that, that they're ruling over me. The powers of the Sitra Acher and the Goyan and the Akum are so powerful. I can't do it. You can do it. You can win. You can, you know, Netzach the Banatzeir, the Koyach the Rebbe is very great. You can, you know, and, and it's a small victories. It's not all the time, you know. It, it, it's not that you're going to always win every single war every single battle, but you're going to win the war. You win the war with a Malik by keeping on fighting, by not falling into Hasar. What does it mean Hasar versus Hasar? Versus the Hasar, one Hasar. Yeah? One Hasar is that, okay, I'm losing the battle, but I haven't given up. I know that what I'm doing is, 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 is not the right thing. Hasar versus Hasar is that, you know what, I just can't do it anymore. It's too hard. This type is too strong for me. The Malchus of Shor is, 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 you know, Ola Hanos and the Tzarecho and the Tavos. It's just, and and we just give up time after time until it becomes like a normal thing, right? So this is the main the main thing that they're saving us from from this Torah, and when we understand that 
that by just preventing ourselves from falling to Holy Sarah, so I said, Sarah, Sarah, stay, keep it with one and Sarah. I'm losing, but I'm winning. <coughs> That's winning. That was telling you, you have Das, you have the Das already. The fact that you know that Hashem is there and you, you know that by keeping on trying that you're, you're doing incredible things and you're, you're, being, you're fearing always oh, your Malchus, so, so then you're winning. You're, you're still in one Hastar, it's okay. Keep trying and you're going to get through it also. But even with one Hastar, you're there. You're there. You're, 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 you're Malchus, you're, you're, your Malchus is, 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 is winning the show. That's what uh, Rav Nosson says in, 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 in uh, Shabbos. It says by Ma'anatzach, uh, by, by, by Sukkis, it says that uh, after there's a war going on between the Malchus, a Kedusha Malchus, a Sitra Acha, from Rosh Hashanah, who starts in El, Rosh Hashanah, a Seris Mitruva, Yom Kippur, we get the, the Sukkis, the first day of Sukkis says, Ma'anatzach, who won? Ma'an the Ochus, Ma'an the Kroi, the Yudai. The person who's holding the weapons in their hand. That's what the Zohar Kodesh says. The person who's holding his weapons is the one who won the war. Rosh says, I've never seen a war like that in my life. <laughs> person who's holding his weapon, he's the one the war. Person who won the war, he put down his weapons and he went home and made a big party. <laughs> so, but he says no, because the war with a malik, which is a, which the Rebbe says over here, is a, the Malik the Trach is a malik. This war is a mechama and Hashem, but a malik, but the door, door, it's a, it's a, it's for, it's forever until Mashiach comes. So, how do you win such a war? It's never going to end. So you win such a war by continuing to fight. That's how you win. Not letting yourself fall into a star, the frat in Chusa Arts, when you see the star is so great, Adrava, every single Lin in the Kuda is Sisei Tayyar. Every single his Eris, every single his Chazkas that the Yid has over here is Sisei Tayyar. And as you saw, we're on the Zechah to like, you know, Nigla. <laughs> over here in Sisei Tayyar. The Zgalia seems opposite. <laughs> yeah, that, but that's exactly what I'm saying. The Malchus Bezaz Galia, the Yidin is stronger in Eretz Yisrael. It's still a big Milchama. But, um, but, uh, but Lemaisa, it's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, um, the, this, this year, Meron, like Weimar, um, it, was, uh, it was a big Milchama. <laughs> Not between the Yidin and the Goy, between the Yidin and the the heir of Rav, um, and uh, I was, I was to be there, and I was a big part of the Muhammad. Um I won't tell the whole story, it's a long story, but uh, <clears throat> the kids are, I went early, I went like a few days early before they, they closed, and then I stayed, you know, I managed to avoid the police, didn't get thrown out, the whole thing, um, but it came, came uh, like Blumber Day, and Bukh Hashem, a lot of you were able to sneak in into the forest, come from a bunch of my friends from, from Or of Rum. Uh, you know, the, and Bukh Hashem was such a Mechai to, to see the Dinah coming in, you know, mysterious Nefesh, to sneak in into the police and all these things. Kabbalik, you know. <laughs> but I'll tell you, so they stayed, and, and we, you know, and I was with them, and we went up, we tried to get to the Tzir, and it's, I don't know what you guys saw from over here, but. Shrekel Kamat of like the, the Pashtas, it was like Tachla Sitra, you know, uh Malchus the Sitra Acha was like, you know, say you know, this the you know, color light. We're not in such good shape. <laughs> We're like uh, you know, sitting around uh, learning all day, you know, we don't we don't see the light of the sun pretty much, uh maybe for his body does an hour and <laughs> but uh, you know, and here you have these police officers, soldiers, they're like, you know, it's like five of them can just like knock down like a hundred of us, you know? And so that's what happened. <laughs> um, but uh, so kids, are, so we came back to the place where we were staying. I, I was with my friends and they said like, we're going back now, we're going, you know, we, we came, we broke Hashem, you know, we, we got to Meron, but you know, it's, it, it was it was very hard to be there because the Malchus the Malchus the Sitra was so strong it was like it was such a star it was such incredible star it's like this is like the Amir Rebbe Shimon this is what it looks like Rebbe Shimon where are you what's going on and I said I said look look what Rebbe says over here turn them buff this is Malchus Beis Cassia Father Rebbe Shimon is fearing noise this is for sure exactly the way he wants it to be there's incredible decoding happen. 
But every time you do, he was my snevish to come here, who has a roots in the calm. He wants to be there with Shimon. And he's Makusha to the Tzaddik. There's big things happening. And I had this, I have to have this, 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 I was walking and uh, I went by, uh, I was just walking, you know, through the forest a little bit and then I ended up by going around to the parking lot at the bottom. I don't know if you guys you know, you know what it looks like. The parking lot kind of underneath the Tzion at the bottom, I'm looking around there. It's still a kind of a crazy mosque over there, but it's a big parking lot, so please can't really, I can say I walked up and uh, I walked up and uh, I saw like, probably the closest I would get would be like, underneath the Tzion, there's like a big wall, underneath the, the Shtiblach, outside the Tzion, there's a big wall there. And I saw like, you know, if I have to wear a fence, I go over there, please weren't really bothering a few chavra over there. They're pushing people down the stairs, but if you just jump over the fence, they'll leave, leave you alone over there. So, so I jumped out of the and just, I'm like, you know, just doing his word, was, you know, opposite the Tzion. And uh, like, Rav Shivan, Kavalt, like, I want to be close to you. And then all of a sudden there's a voice from, up, from upstairs. <laughs> and there was a Yid who was uh, one of the workers who he has, uh, you know, a vest, special vest, you know. But like an Erech Yid, he's like, you want to come into Tzion? I said, yeah. He's like, this is how you do it. And he said, you know, you go like around this whole thing, whatever, it's like, I had to like little, little maneuver, you know, jump up over a fence and hop up on the stairs and, you know, and the police were so busy with other things going on, ran it, that's it. So, so there's no, you guys have to understand, like, it's, it's just, it's just a dimion. It's all a dimion. And the dimion is very strong in Chutzar, it's very strong, but it's just a dimion. The mouth is so just, it doesn't really exist. It doesn't really exist. Emes is is a mouthful of kedusha, but we it's 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 a battle. It's a battle of kliyach and We have we have to fight against this battle. We have to fight against the these bullying. And and the main battle is to be with simcha. Rebbe says the person is jumping the siftas. So the person is is shvach. Ah, that's what sinks into his bones, into his body, into his blood. So. So then it's very, it's, it's, then it, there's no, there's no way for us to, there's no way for us to break free and, 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 and get out of this demon. That's the biggest demon is Atzvus. That's the biggest Koyach Asitra Akhir is Atzvus. Koyach Haman Amalek is, this is falls in depression. You know, really, I was just smoozing with the, I was just uh, by uh, like uh, gathering water, Waterbury Bachram, you know, here in Muncie, and I was smoozing with the about this, that, uh, you know, the, the, main, the main thing is Yishuv Adas. person is Yishuv Adas, Yishuv Adas, you're good. Yishuv Adas, you're good. What? There's no Taibal that's going to come and, 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 and mess me up. I have Yishuv Adas. I know, I'm thinking about the Vanish Shalom. <laughs> Problem is, I don't get Yishuv Adas. It's the hardest thing in the world. There's no Yishuv Adas, right? So never says to me, Yishuv Adas, you can do it, you can do it. How do you get Yishuv Adas? You got to break through the Atzvah. Really, he says this before in Torah Yud in, in, in Tinyana. That the main issue of das comes from simcha. Person is simcha. It's oil macherus, right? Which the Rebbe says is a malchus. The sitra, the gedusha is is oil macherus. You're free. Your mind is free. It's not mashubed. So then the, all these problems, yeah, especially with money. The biggest hastar. Why does the Rebbe say this whole thing is about money? But Haman Malik, because that's the biggest hastar, biggest hastar. And it's not just for you know balabat and the It's for the 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 the, the ormer light and in and Eretz Yisrael, the kol light and Eretz Yisrael learning. All day, but uh, they're struggling with their chayvus, you know, and all these things. And you're worried about Panasa, and you're worried about how am I going to feed my family and kids? It's also, it's also Tavis Maman, it's the same thing. It's also Haman Like The whole world is caught up in this. It's the biggest challenge, the biggest hastar. And, and, and why? I'll tell you why. Because by, let's say, Tavis Achila, Tavis Noshim, okay? I know I'm not supposed to do it. It's pretty clear, right? Okay, so I struggled. So that's one astar, right? That's only one astar. So I have a taiva. But I, at least I know very clearly I'm not supposed to do it. Taiva zechila. If I eat too much, if I eat the wrong things, I feel it afterwards, right? Taiva's moment, it's like, first of all, I need to work to make a living. It's a normal thing, right? You have to work. I have to do some ishtadlis. Uh, but I'm not supposed to do ishtadlis with emuna. It's very hard. I get caught up in the ishtadlis. I forget the emuna. Forget that bitochen. 
and there's so much, there's so much going around, so much confusion. I have to pay for this, I pay for that, and and if the mice, if I work another few hours, so I'll make some more money. So then I end up working and working and working, and I spend my whole, I, I, and I, I didn't, I didn't get the daffy on today. I didn't, uh, I didn't get a chance to, you know, I was dabbing in milch, and I, I was. We got caught up in this because it's such a reality, and and, it, and it's there's so many nuances, so many details to it. And and the mice, there is an in, in So, so the rabbis, the rabbis teaches over here that we have to bring das into that place. What am I doing? I'm doing business. I'm being. I'm lifting up the I'm I'm being mashed by the and it doesn't. Hashem's not asking me to work harder than I than I, than I need to. He's not asking me to put in extra kachas and and to, and to sacrifice my learning and sacrifice my baruch hashem and my kedusha. What? And it could be good for people Yeah. Oh. Oh, so Hashem's, Hashem's not expecting too much for us in Ruchnias and in Gashmias, meaning He'll give us what we need without having to work too hard uh, and just be Machazak and Munam. <coughs> so, hey boys, I, I'm here, a uh, special mission from, for, for the Brust of community in the whole world. Right now, the Rebbe's Malchus is beginning to be in his gala. That's 35 years, right? How many, how many Yidin? How many breasts of a chassid there were 35 years ago? A thousand maybe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe even less. Now it's being mispashed. It's spreading to the whole world. And it's the Vadai, the fastest ruling chassid in the world. How, how many people do you think are being inspired by the Rebbe Sfarim? <coughs> I'll tell you, from listen to David Kivach told me, it said one out of 10 people that comes to Uman, there's, is, there's, ten, there's, there's nine other people that are learning the Sfarim and getting chiyas. Inspiration. Them what? Out of them are getting it biscuits. Uh, they're not even aware of where uh, it's coming from. Right. And then and then Vada the Rebbe's Moshe I'll call it his Moshe I'll call it door. His Torah is fearing always everything. It's the whole key of the Yiddish you know, of, of, of the Eden and, and the entire world is through the Torah of Nachman. But so it's very much based Kasi, it's starting to be in Nizgala. Okay, it's starting, it's, we're getting there step by step, okay? Now, we have, so we have literally 100,000 people. Last year, I think, you know, there's 45,000 45, people that paid the tax in Uman. That doesn't count the people who didn't pay the tax. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't count the, it doesn't count the, the 18 and, and, and younger. You also f- snuck through the police. Yeah, line. there's a bunch yeah. of times, you know, just <laughs> like in a way that they're not paying attention. Just, you know, it's, you know, it's Malchus Bez Gala, Malchus Bez Kasa, you know, it's whatever, you know. Um, but kids are, so, so, so I'm estimating like 60,000 people at least, including the Bachram and everything. It started with Nizgala. So in Eretz Yisrael, Bo Hashem, we have yeshivas for Israelis, for, for in Hebrew, in Yiddish, there's Meisters, there's Chadarim, there's everything. For English speakers, just garnished. As far as I know, there's absolutely garnished. What is wrong with the situation? What's going on over here? We're sleeping our lives away. I'll tell you, I, I was a Bachar, I, I, I was in the Mi Yeshiva, and I got into Brasa, I went to Umar Hashanah. And at that time, the Mi Yeshiva was okay with it, Baruch Hashem, now it's a different story. And I, whatever, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really have what to do, so I, like, you know, go to this Chabura and that this year, you know, try to make it, you know, patch together a breast of existence. And it was very bitty avid. And, and that's what's, that, that was 15 years ago. It's, it's still the same story. It's mamash, the, it's a it's huge busha for me. It should be a huge busha for everybody in this room, any, any person who's because of the Rebbe. You know, it's, it's, it's an embarrassment. Like, what are we doing? Why is there no place for a good rest of a bacha to go to yeshiva? An English bacha, no place for him to go. He goes to yeshiva, he has to fit together, you know, he gets kicked out of yeshiva, or he, whatever. You know, so in Eretz Yisrael we have we have we have a team of people that we're putting together. We're putting together breast of yeshiva in the Hanof, Yerushalayim, Yerukodesh, English speaking, and there's there's two groups: a group for Bali Tshuva because we also need a place for Bali Tshuva to go. That's one yeshiva, and then and then together with that, there's another yeshiva for for FFBs. We have two two groups in that yeshiva really. That's 18, 19 year olds, also 20 to 23. And so I'm here talking to people and trying to raise some money. Also, you know, spreading the word. People have Bachram, you have friends, you have uh, younger brothers, 
you know, uh, kids that are that, that are looking for such a place where you can really grow in the Rebbe's Derech. We have a good Seder Limud of Nigla and, uh, you know, Gemara Halacha. And then also, you know, some Sikha Saran every day, some extra time for his Baradus and uh, bringing Mashpim. The whole environment is Mavakshim, the Rabbanim, the, the Bachrim. Everybody's looking to get close to Hashem, you know, through the, uh, the Rebbe's Derech. It's an unbelievable Derech. So each one of us knows. Can you imagine the power of being in such an environment 24 7? Erev Shabbos, Shabbos, Yom Tov, you know, Uman Rosh Hashanah, the, you know, Kibbut Tzadik, Kibbut Eretz Yisrael, the whole thing. This is going to change the world. I have no suffolk in my, in my mind that this yeshiva is going to be the main thing that, that's going to establish Brasov in the English-speaking world as an amazing path in Avodah Hashem. It's going to be makar of thousands of people, the, the parents that come from this yeshiva. They see good, healthy, you know, Brasov and Mishpacha is coming to this yeshiva. And like I just in Lakewood, and and you know I'm talking to some of these uh, chinuch placement experts, and uh, and they're they're very you know they they look they they have a bad taste a bit breast of because all they know is nanach you know that there was bachrim who you know they who they thought were very good bachrim they're doing well they're doing well and all of a sudden they. They, they, they want to go on to Rosh Hashanah and they and they, they, they and, and and all of a sudden they're they they are starting to dress funny and they're they're starting to do these funny things that they don't know what happened and, and then they stop hearing from them and then you know it's like it's like you know they're sitting shiva it's it's never right so I'm talking to them so this so one of them he gives he gives me an example he said there was this this this, 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 this really good bach was doing so well in the shiva it's, you know never he got the Rabbi Svarim he got Rabbi Nachman Svarim he started getting into it. And, uh, and then there comes Rosh Hashanah, he said he wants to go. And he asked Rosh Hashiva, he says, no way, you're gonna, you, know, you, you can't go to Oman. You get kicked out of Yeshiva. So he came to this Chinuch guy and he said, you know, what do I do? He said, you think Rav Nachman wants you to get kicked out of Yeshiva? Rav Nachman, leave it at the Torah. He said, you want to get out of Yeshiva? So you stay in Yeshiva, what are you doing? Of course, the Bacha goes to Oman, gets kicked out of Yeshiva, and then he has a huge arena. So this Chinuch guy, he was using this as a, as a raya, like, you know, you see Brasov, you see what it does? I said, punk for cat. <laughs> That's exactly why you need us. You need a Shiva for a Yid who's, who, you know, I didn't say it like this, but he sees the Amos, and he's a good kid. He, he learns well. He likes learning Torah. He's a good kid. And, and he, he doesn't fit into your system because, you know, he knows the truth. And, and, and he needs a place to go. He needs a regular Shiva where you can grow. And the Rebbe's there. So that's what we're doing. I have, um, you guys can take a look over here. Pass these around. But I can't stress enough, I, we, the, the staff over here, um, we have a, a, a couple uh, Mansi natives, Ramurdecha Haberfeld, many people know, Ramati Haberfeld. It should be freed. Everybody knows it should be freed. A big, uh, oh, yeah, it's about to feel it for Rim Kippur. So, you know, and, um, and, and there's a lot of mysterious nefesh that's happening over here. A lot of mysterious nefesh. And again, I can guarantee you this Meshiva is going to be successful. The Rebbe says, Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. What does it mean? I actually took our Does it mean there's gonna be like a big bonfire and we're gonna like all you know like it's just gonna keep going and going and going like whatever is like speaking like you know in a muscle. What what is the what is it what does it mean over here? Rabbi Nelson explains it. In Torah, it's in the Hilchah Shluch and Hay. Hilchah Shluch and Hay is like is you read all the logs, you get to the Hilchah Shluch and Hay, you're like this is a whole different safer. This is a whole. This is Reb Nussin's message to a brother of a chassid. The rest of the time he's talking to anybody who's who's interested in Pnimas Get the Hilchah Shluch and Hay. He's talking to a brother of a chassid. He says like this. He says actually two Garabias Mashiach means that the Rebbe's or is going to be passed down. From generation to generation, it's going to stay alive, right? They say that the, the joke is that brothers of the Toyta Chasidis, right? Toyta Chasidis, son of a rabbi, what are you doing? But now we see it's Punk Faket, it's the most Levitika Chasidis we have, the biggest rabbi, and he's still alive with us today. 
through his Talmidim, and his Talmidim, Talmidim, every single generation, this ish, this fire, this light is being carried on until Bias Mashiach. So what does it mean for us? It means that, Reb Nassim says in this Talacha, each one of us can take a part in that history-making process. It's not a dormant thing. It's not like, you know, it, somebody else is happening. It's something, it's, it's something happened in the history books. It's happening. History is happening right now. History is happening with this yeshiva. You're going to see 10, 20 years down the line from now how this is changing the world. So, and this is opportunity for every single year to, to take a part of it. You know, if, if a person has what to donate, you know, there's, there's options for donations. You have friends, you have uh, younger brothers, you have, uh, you have kids, you have neighbors, whatever it is that might be interested in yeshiva, pass the word along. And it also, if you have a friend, you have, there's a givir that you know who might be interested in this project, you can, you can put him in touch with me. And Mr. Shem, it's, you know, it's, again, I say it like this, I'm not asking for help, I'm giving everybody here an opportunity. Opportunity of a lifetime. Opportunity of a lifetime to do something big for the Rebbe. Make an institution that's going to change the world. So, and this is, this is Torah Nadval, the Megala the Hastara, Megala the Hastara, the Rebbe's Nister, the Malchus Beskas, we want to bring it to the Izgalia. So, Hashem should bless us to see the Malchus the Kedusha in Izgalia in our lifetime, every single day, in our personal lives, and also the Chlaus for Basra Chasidim, and to see the coming Mashiach for Amen. Amen. Yeah, with the name. What else can I find at this address?